Well, I'm going to start working on this project. It's a really it's an engine rebuild of this Perkins diesel. It's a 4.236. Uh, it's 236 cubic inches, four cylinder. So it's a 4.236. This is a, out of like a late 80s uh, tractor backhoe. So uh, the reason I'm rebuilding it is because uh, one of the bearings on the rod bearings actually spun. It damaged the crank and it also damaged the rod. Uh, uh, so it, it's uh, pretty much had it. And it, actually it's cheaper to rebuild the engine than it is to go on out and buy one. So that's what I'm going to do. And this particular engine has, uh, for when you're looking at the rebuild kit that is, is it has a dry sleeve cylinder, meaning that um, when you replace the pistons, you actually also replace the liner. Now, um, let me take a little bit of a zoom up on this thing. Okay, this is on the back side of the cylinder number four. You can just barely see it. That, that line right there, um, I think it's, well, the bore is a, a uh, 3 and uh, 0.875, so it's uh, 3 and 7 eighths, and the diameter of the hole there is like 4.0625. And the, the way to get these things on out is to somehow uh, get some sort of a tool in the bottom here that fits on in. Uh, you can buy some tools that are from uh, uh, OTC or Oatana Tool Corporation, and at the end of this video I'll actually show you, you know, that there's actually a little table that you can look up and depending upon the size of your cylinder bore and the, and the thickness of your liner, you can pick the one that's most appropriate for you. And, and I have no problem. I think that they're like somewhere right around $100 if you can purchase them online. And uh, and by the way, those are, are pretty slick in that um, if you buy that configuration, I, I don't even think you need to pull the crank. Uh, they can slide down through the top. You can slide them around and then uh, put a bolt on it and pull them on out. Uh, but what I was looking for is, is if at all possible, can you find a tool that, you know, I mean, if you use it once and you pay $100, it'd be nice to have a tool that you can actually use it more than once. So, um, so what do you do? Well, surprisingly, there's actually a, 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 a adapter in that front wheel bearing set from Harbor Freight. And the uh, outside diameter is four inches, which is under the, the, the diameter of the cylinder board, which is 4.0625. At least that's the cast block diameter. And the inside actually fits inside there. And it uh, was almost like it was made to fit. Um, just give me a moment, I'll grab that and, uh, and show you. Now, as you can see, there's a number of series of different adapters in there. And the one that I just took on out from that guy is, is this guy right here. It just so happens it's got a little bit of an edge to it. So the outside puck, I guess you can say the puck diameter is four inches. And if I were to go on in here, and if I can zoom on in there appropriately, it actually drops on down in there. It fits perfectly. So I wish I could zoom in a little bit more on that, but I guess I can't. I just have to take my word for it. Um, you know, let me see if I can just take the camera off. All right. You can see here, that's the edge of the liner right there. And there's a little step on this, this collar right here. I guess you can see this hockey puck. And it's actually just rests on that and it won't move outside of that, that diameter. So what I'm trying to say is if you uh, want to try using this Harper Freight set, you may want to give it a try. Um, nothing to keep you from buying it like an OTC a tool for your specific application, but you know if I can use this tool set, you know for popping up bearings, uh, I think that's just kind of a, a nice thing to have as a, an option. So um, anyway, just an FYI. I may take a couple clips of this coming apart just to give a kind of a, uh, an idea of the difficulty and um, so we'll go from there. Okay, I'm ready to start moving this liner. I've got my, I guess you can say my hockey puck right in there. You can see it fits in there real well and believe it or not, there's clearance between the, the, the cylinder bore uh, diameter uh, that the liner actually sits in. So uh, it looks like it does a pretty good job. And so what I'm doing is I'm tightening up the nut on the other side 
and I'm hitting it with a hammer on this side with a big old shaft. It's got a little bit of mass to it. You could use a, a big old piece of steel and a hammer, but uh, that shaft right there seems to do the trick. And by the way, that's a bad shaft. It's a Ford input shaft for a Super Duty truck. Uh, that's another story in itself. So um, anyway, so this is the plan. I'll show you a quick click of, a clip of the other side there so you can see what how it's uh, going here. Oh, matter of fact, let me just go ahead and move the camera here. Uh, let's see if I can show you here. Oh, at least let me move it this way. So I've got two by fours here the, on the block. Uh, and uh, I'm just, if I were to put bare steel on that, that uh, top of the block there, you may uh, put some scratches or grooves in it. So I'm just playing it safe and uh, using some wood here. And then I have a just a big old piece of steel there. And I'm, I've uh, got uh, on the top of that sandwich and I'm just driving the nut down and then I hit from the back side on the uh, with a, that big old shaft to drive it on down and maybe you can see a little bit here as it's just starting to move there oh gosh it's not very good to see at all here um, let me get from a different angle here sorry about the jerky motion here You can just barely see it starting to move. So um, just keep on going ahead and, and uh, tightening up that, that uh, nut. And then uh, go ahead and give her a couple whacks and tighten up the nut. Give her a few whacks and keep that process going until you actually get that thing popped out of there. So um, you just have to be patient. You, know, you, you don't want to go crazy on this. So that's it. Okay, I'm going to go through this a couple times. Just to show you how hard it is to, or actually in this case it's not that hard to move it. First you want to wear safety glasses and hearing protection with this. So, cycle through this and just to show you what the, t the technique is. First tighten one up. Don't over tighten it, you'll strip the thread. And take your little hammer and it actually moves rather quickly. Again, snug it up. And use your hammer. Well, there's to it. It's all on out. As you can see, let me focus up on this thing. Um, it came on out. Boy, the lighting sure isn't that good here. So if I can the there, the light. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. So just have to be patient and um, be careful when you're hitting on the bottom of that rod not to hit and damage any of the walls there. So um, if you just take your time, you'll do it fine. But if you're trying to get in a rush, you may damage something. It'll take you a whole lot longer than you thought. So that's it. As I mentioned earlier, 
Here's a table of available cylinder liner removal tools from OTC.